Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Call O'Clock with a package from Lego Bricks and Pieces, and, ooh, a couple of Lego stunt sets. Good, good. Now you'll remember I got Gorilla Grodd last Brick Call, but I was just playing with him on my desk and realised that he could hold minifigures in his hands, so I thought I'd use him just to support Robot Hood and Robin here. But uh, yeah, that looks very fun, doesn't it? Uh, now I have opened, as you can see, this Bricks and Pieces package, and that's because I needed some pieces for the Flying Knotsman build, uh, and indeed the chair ride for the fairground. So I've actually had this package waiting around since about um, September, I think. So it's got a few pieces from 2021, uh, new sets as was. Uh, but before we go through that, I really want to go through these stunt uh, motorcycle sets, uh, specifically the demolition stunt bike and the rocket stunt bike because I reckon these are pretty cool and I think I've developed a brand new sport. Well before I show you the new sport that I've invented I thought I'd show you the uh, combatants because <laughs> yes it is an aggressive sport. Uh, we've got this guy here who is the demolition uh, stunt bike and he has got the best Lego face that I've seen for a very long time. This one here with his sort of uh, bruised head and missing teeth and sort of <laughs> complete mess uh, and the other side of his face is pre-crash which is also rather fantastic and he's got these hazard stripes all over including on his visor uh, and the kind of armor on which is very vital for what we're going to be doing with him in a minute so that's him and I really like the broken light detail on the front of his bike so there's one and wow they go so well these uh, then we've got the rocket bike which is really quite smart as well with the flame out the back this guy's only got one side of his face and he's kind of a sort of peter perfect type kind of character but he looks rather good as well and i like the red visor and so on uh, so there they are uh, and before they get into the new sport you'll see that they go absolutely brilliantly and you can do them over ramps and everything else as you'll be well aware but my sport involves a bit of additional equipment and that is da -da -da, a lance uh, so basically my sport that i think i've invented is motorcycle jousting so basically you give a lance to each combatant and then basically have them go at each other until we get a winner. So here we go. Oh, that was a near miss. <laughs> Let's go for the second round, see if I can get them to hit this time. Ooh, oh, that was a bit of a tie. <laughs> Let's go for joust number three. Oh, oh, that was very close. I thought it was going to be a win here for this guy. Uh, last go. No, missed. I think we're down to sudden death now. Yes, that was a definite victor. It was the Rocket Stunt Bike. He is the winner. Fantastic. Well, I've had great fun playing with these stunt bikes, and when the next lot come out, I think I'll be getting those as well. Uh, maybe not all for jousting, maybe for use in the city, though I haven't really got room for a great big demolition derby sort of stadium or anything. Uh, yeah, I could do one on the floor, I suppose, but I'm definitely not going to delay existing projects for that. Anyway, that was really good fun. I hope you enjoyed that little segue. I was thinking of doing that as a little short video, but instead I'll do it at the beginning of this haul. Uh, let's get on to that bricks and pieces order. Right, so on to the order. Now, you know I do the majority of my ordering on Bricklink, but every now and then there's just a few pieces that are vital for projects that you just can't get for a decent second-hand price or that just aren't available on Bricklink because nobody's got them. And that's when I go to my place of last resort, in a way, <laughs> Bricks and Pieces, just because of the expense, really. Um, but while I'm there, I always get as many of the new parts from all the different lines of LEGO from the recent sets uh, that I haven't yet got. And that's to maintain a real sort of diversity of minifigure pieces and so on going around my city uh, and all the rest of it. Uh, so periodically, uh, I peruse all the new parts to see what I want. And the best way to do this is to go to brickset.com, where you would then click on Browse, go down to Parts, click on that, go down to View Lists of Categories, Colours and Years, click on that. And then I like to wheel down to the Date Added, and I can look at all the parts added since the last time I looked, and go down the list and, well, see what takes my fancy. Ooh, a butterfly! <laughs> 
So the majority of these parts come from the uh, summer release city sets and a few of the monkey kid sets and uh, all sorts of other stuff as well. Uh, so in no particular order, well, something that's leaping right out from the front is this bag of letters. Now these aren't the letters from the typewriter, they're much bigger. These are pieces from the creative designer box, 41938. Uh, and this little bag of 36 letters, because there are some repeats in there, there's no numbers, they've repeated a few of the more common letters, uh, is about £1.25, I think it was. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but obviously I can spell out a sign or something like that. Uh, so I kind of got them while they're available, uh, because, well, I figure they probably won't be for long. But um, anyway, yes, so ideas for that one, maybe, to see where uh, my city would benefit from some little letter pieces. Uh, then I can see a few animals straight away, and the horse is the biggest one, I think, from the uh, medieval blacksmith set, 21325, and he is rather wonderful. And he's a good example of a piece I've kind of bought for future provedness, uh, in that I have no purpose for him whatsoever, but I figure that when this isn't available, it's going to be going for sort of tens of pounds or something like that. So I'll get one while I can, and if I do want to have a sort of little buggy or carriage being pulled by a horse, then I've got just the candidate to pull it. And I could put him on the um, farm, but I've got a brown horse already. In fact, maybe he'll look better being this colour, I don't know, so I might swap them out. Uh, but anyway, that is a very nice piece that won't be around forever, so get one of those. Another animal in three pieces, which has been part of the... Um, new wildlife rescue sets. I'll have to get a Technic pin. I didn't buy one, but I can kind of wedge that in for now. So there's a few of those uh, wildlife rescue sets. This is from the 60302 Wildlife Rescue Operation. Uh, and I just really like these big crocodiles. And this one's in a different colour than we've had it before. Normal green. Uh, we've had them in sort of dark green and even tan before. But yeah, he's a really vicious looking beastie. So I can put him maybe in my sewers when I get round to doing that. Uh, I've already got one in the River Trent, but yeah, he's really nice. Uh, and then in addition to him, I should say her really, I suppose, because if she's guarding one of these croc eggs with a little beady eye poking out of it, then um, it must be a lady croc, mustn't it? So that's from the same set as well. And I've recently got that alligator, haven't I, from um, the recent, um, what is it, DC or Marvel? Marvel line of minifigures, so I can sort of add that to the scene if it doesn't look too out of place. It's kind of an intermediate sort of juvenile one. So anyway, they're really nice animal pieces. And I can see another animal as well, this being the snake that we've had before in this uh, sort of size, but not with this printing on. Uh, and this is part of the 60301 Wildlife Rescue Off-Roader set. Now, there are some monkeys that I've already got because I got the ATV as a gift to the channel. Uh, if you want to send me something, you can to the usual address. <laughs> um, but uh, there are some blackface monkeys that I haven't got yet. I haven't bought any of the big uh, lions or even the baby lions. And I haven't bought the elephants. They just seem a bit pricey and I've got nowhere really to put them. And I've already got a very sort of uh, brick built uh, elephant on my train, of course, my cargo train. So anyway, he's a really nice snake. I uh, could add him to the exotic uh, pet store, but I've already got one on the roof escaping there. So maybe I'll have to think of something else for that. So I think that's all the animals. Though so this is a piece that I've since got as part of that ATV set 60300, uh, which I bought uh, well before I'd received that, which is kind of the remote control for a drone. So I really like that. That's very nice. Then got a sort of teacup piece with some green liquid in it, which I thought was pretty <laughs> horrid looking, really. Uh, and that's part of the Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake Set, 76386. I've got no idea how I'm going to use that, but it is very interesting indeed. So I think I just got one of those. I've got the very nice new colour of bright green on a bike frame, which is from the 21328 Seinfeld set. So that's probably the only piece that I needed from that. Some Technic bricks for a build. And these are for the same build. You'll never guess what they are. So I wouldn't even try. I've uh, got a couple of those, I think, for an undersea sort of plant I was planning. Uh, lots of red bits and dark blue bits. And they're for the same sort of um, new build that I didn't tell you from the last brick call. It is something to do with the deep sea cabinet. So I'll let you into that. Now, there are a lot of gold minifigure pieces in here. 
Let's see if I can get them all together. I've got legs, which are just blank. I've got a torso, which is from um, a Ninjago set. Uh, but basically, I didn't buy it for the torso itself. It's from a, a golden Ninja Lloyd. Uh, I bought it for the arms and uh, hands, because believe it or not, I don't have any spare arms or hands. And I want to make another gold statue. So basically, I've got a torso already. I'm going to use these arms and hands, these legs. I thought I'd add these shoulder pads on, these sort of armor. Uh, they're from a couple of the newer uh, Ninjago sets, like 71756, Hydro Bounty. So I like that. Then I've got a very sort of serious looking face. <laughs> Look at that with a sort of beard on. I thought that would make a really sort of good statue as well. Uh, and, well, there's a plat down the back, but I don't need that. So that is from the Sensei Wu uh, statue in the Ninjago City Garden set, 71741. So that's really nice. And then there should be one more gold piece in here. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's kind of Luke Skywalker, sort of shaggy hair, uh, but obviously in gold as well. Uh, and that is from the uh, 20th anniversary Ron from the 76388 Hogsmeade Village Visit. So apart from that torso, uh, and I'll probably give the new statue a sort of a sword and shield or something like that. I thought that might be uh, another statue like the one I've got in Apollo Arcade. So it's quite hard to envisage right now with all this printing on the front, but uh, you get the idea. So that's what those gold pieces were for. Uh, then I got a few video pieces and I got these again before I actually got the really cheap uh, sets from Amazon. So this is the hair from the Candy Castle stage set, 43111 video. So it's one of those to use in my city. Uh, and then there was a dark pink one. Here we are which is from the Boombox stage, 43115. And I don't have that set, so that is new to me. So that's really nice. Then I've got this very interesting new hair piece, which is kind of like a big plait on the back. Very nice sort of braided hair. Uh, and there's two different colours of this. There's the black and there's the dark brown. Oh, sorry, I've got them both in my hands. So the dark brown is very similar, but on the left there. So the black one is from the Wildlife Rescue Camp, 60307. And the uh, brown one is from a friend set, actually, uh, 41685, Magical Funfair Roller Coaster. So that's just a really nice different uh, hair piece that I wouldn't have known about necessarily, but found, you know, using the Brick Set website. Those two are for the same project as all of that over there. That will confuse matters even more. Uh, another torso that I've got from those wildlife rescue sets is this one, just with the stethoscope. No logo on the back, so I can use that pretty much anywhere. really like the teal hands. These two pieces are really interesting. So these are the sorts of pieces you wouldn't necessarily find because they both come from educational sets, which we don't really sort of find usually on the website when we're just looking for city sets or Ninjago sets or whatever it might be. Um, but they are still obviously released. Uh, and they're both from 45816, the first Lego League Challenge, <laughs> which is a very strange uh, set. I don't quite get what that is for but or doing, but it's very large indeed. And we've got this wonderful 2 by 2 tile and this um, kind of uh, roof for the front of a uh, lorry. It would be a four-wide one, of course, some sort of truck. Uh, so I thought I'd make a, a little truck that would have this on either as the logo. I suppose it could be a logo on a wall of a building or something like that, couldn't it? Uh, and anyway, these, which I might have got more than one of, yeah, I've got two of those, could be the sort of logos on the actual boxes they were delivering or something like that. So it can be a cargo company in my city. But that's a really nice logo piece with a plane on it and a truck on the bottom there. So yeah, I really like those. So yeah, you wouldn't have found those otherwise, would you? Uh, other ones from that Hogsmeade Village Visit set is this medium lavender hat, which fortunately was available because it's unique to that set. There should also be a tan hair. Here we are with a bun on that's unique to that set as well. Often with license ranges, you don't get the option of getting all the pieces that you want, but um, there some were available. Got two of these sort of glittery pieces. I just wanted to try them really, see if they'd be useful for under the sea or something. So I got some in this sort of new satin uh, transparent uh, and some in this sort of glitzy pink as well. <laughs> lots more dark blue pieces. And then we've got lots of pieces from uh, either Chinese New Year sets or Monkey Kid sets. So this one is a Monkey Kid one with hearts and noodles. So he really likes noodles. 
uh, and some stuff on the back there. This is from Pigsy's Noodle Tank, which is an absolutely awesome set, if you ask me. I'm really, really interested in getting the egg noodle tiles. Those are two by two ones, but they never seem to be available. So uh, I have to see if they become available next time I do a bricks and pieces order. But I really like them. So we've got that. We've also got as part of that set this mini figure, which is kind of somebody in a pretty tatty panda suit. So I've got the panda suit on the front, but it's also sagging at the neck where the shirt is coming out and the zips partially undone there at the back. I didn't get a head for it because I don't really need that head, but there's the head as well. So if you need to get loads of panda heads, then you can on Lego Bricks and Pieces. So that's really nice as well. So the Pigsy's Noodle Tank set is uh, 80026. And then this was a head from that set with the glasses on and a kind of wispy moustache. She's looking a bit mean in that one. And, oh, that's much more fun, isn't it? I like that one very much. I hope I got more than one of those. Uh, and I think this... One with also glasses on and this sort of open face was uh, open mouth was part of that set as well. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I did get two of those ones. That's really good. Yeah, it's a really good set, that noodle tank one. I was almost considering getting it at one point. Oh, and a second one of those torsos. Very nice to spread around. Uh, I'll have to get somewhere that's actually selling noodles for all these places, people to attend. Uh, a dark pink hair. That was uh, from that Magical Funfair roller coaster one we looked at earlier as well. Uh, then we've got some interesting... Well, I've got some Harry Potter hair. I don't know why I did that. Didn't really need that desperately. But these ones are very interesting. These dark brown sort of hair with the spiky bits on. They're from another friend set, 41689. The Magical Ferris Wheel and Slide. Very nice indeed. Then we've got Monkey Kid Torso. Slightly different. Got a big Chinese character on the back and zipped up. It's really nice. I really like the colour of that. So that's really good. Uh, we've got the sailor outfit that was part of that sailboat adventure set, 40487. Uh, did I get more than one? No, I just got one of those for an extra crewmate, presumably. A couple of emojis. Uh, I don't remember getting that. I got some one-up ones, I thought. I, think, I genuinely think I might have got my first mistake on Lego Bricks and Pieces. I got some... Um, Plus one up, as in sort of for a computer game, uh, little dots, because I thought they'd be useful at an arcade, and I didn't get a little palm tree, so a uh, bit of a problem there. Let's see what this one is. That one's different as well. Maybe they're just putting random ones in, I don't know. Oh, is that how they're done? So if you order specific dots, you just get a random one from that set. I don't even know what that is. Is that a cloud or wind or something? can't even see what that is. It's almost like a little paw. Oh, oh, that's weird. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, we've got a torso here from the 80106 story of Nyan, which is one of the uh, Chinese New Year sets. It's just a really nice torso that I could use anywhere in my city. So that's really nice. And this torso is from the same set, the sort of dark red with the nougat sleeves. It's pretty, pretty much a colour clash as I see it. But anyway, <laughs> I haven't got it, so I thought I'd get that. Lots more bits for my secret project. A few more tiles for something else. Some very happy, smiley ladies' heads. And one more of those ones with the glasses. So that's really good as well. Put that on that stack. Uh, then another one of those hairs. Oh, we've got some Thor hair uh, from a few sets now, like Bro Thor's New Asgard, 76200. So I have to make a, a sort of hunk on the beach with that sort of hair or something like that. A uh, couple more new hair pieces with sort of spiky tussled hair here in grey. Uh, and this is new to 76395 Hogwarts First Flying Lesson, where they make up Madam Hooch, so named for her moonshine recipe, no doubt. <laughs> but they're very nice indeed. Uh, and then I've got a couple of sort of minions type hair. Uh, where there's sort of the tussly bit on the top of certain minions. I don't know them by name. Like in 75546, Minions in Gru's Lab. So I've since been given a few of these um, as one of my uh, subscriber brick calls as well. So I've probably got far too many of them now. There must be other uses for a little sort of tufty round black piece. Maybe I can use them under the sea. Don't really know. And that's probably why I got these multi sort of faceted stalk pieces as well. Uh, so yeah, I think I've gone through all of that. Oh, that's part of that build as well. I might have all of the parts for the secret build. Who knows? But yeah, a really good haul. 
While that haul does give me lots of ammunition for minifigures to populate the fairground, which is fast coming into reality, and I'm going to need an absolute load of minifigures to fill that and make it look really busy, uh, where it will then on be a dust trap meadow. <laughs> but anyway, uh, there are a couple of pieces that I actually missed showing you. One was this bush in dark green, not a big uh, amazing piece, but the colour is new, and that's part of the uh, flower bouquet set 10280. Uh, and another one was this green head, which is another thing, much like the gold stuff, which I bought just for the uh, colour of it. I'm actually going to use it without the face showing, just with the bare green bits. You have to try and guess uh, what I'm going to be building with that, but it's quite fun. Just a little scene that's uh, not really to do with any major build, just tucked away somewhere. Uh, so hopefully, I'll have that coming up as well. Yeah, so a really good haul. Uh, so as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. So as always, if you want to send me something to the channel, then you can using the usual address. Uh, but next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be doing a unique build. I haven't decided what yet on Friday. Uh, then on Monday, we'll be going back to the fairground for another fairground for Mondays. Uh, and uh, then next week, we'll have yet another haul. So do let me know if you've got any ace ideas for these pieces. And uh, do let me know if you want to uh, try doing motorcycle jousting at your home <laughs> using these wonderful stunt bikes. Uh, I'll be really interested in seeing any pictures of you doing so if you do. Anyway, until next time, see you!